Thank you so much, brethren, for joining today. We shall be looking to God's grace and how it is always sufficient, no matter what we face. Let's look into Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. We are reminded that God's power is made perfect in our weakness. Hallelujah. His grace is what sustains us and what empowers us to keep going, even when we feel like we have nothing less. Hallelujah. So when you are feeling weak, when you are feeling like you can't go on, remember that God's grace is there for you. Lean on, lean on it. Trust in it and let it carry you through every challenge that comes your way. Hallelujah. This, the, 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 his strength shines through our weakness, showing us that we are never alone. No matter what obstacles or challenges we may, we may face, know that God's grace is more than enough to see you through. So take heart and whatever, have faith, and remember that His grace is always sufficient. I hope this message encourages you today. Remember, God's grace is enough. Stay strong, stay faithful, and keep trusting in Him, God. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Allow the grace of God, and the, I pray today the grace of God will be made sufficient for you in every area of your life that you need it in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining. The message resonated with you. Kindly share so we can reach a greater number of people on this, uh, on this platform. Thank you so much. May the grace of God be made sufficient for you. And as we are coming to your feed, there is a reason for you to see this video today. Share it and God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Shalom. To we meet again. Don't forget God's grace is also important in the life of a Christian. Thank you so much.